Hi again, everybody. Uh, been a while, but I uh, thought I'd give you an update about what's been going on. And uh, basically, it boils down to us moving the boat back to the boatyard so I can work on the cover and uh, without bothering the neighbors. Because uh, I've got to the stage where there's a lot of sanding and a lot of noise and uh, it has to be had to be reasonable weather especially when we get to the painting stage and uh, yeah i'll just show you the progress well there we have it a beautiful spot for working on the boat under cover in a nice boat shed so no problems with the rain and not bothering the neighbors too much as you can see i've been sanding and I've been fairing it with some fairing compound and sanding again. <laughs> this is the second layer of fairing compound that I put on. It's, uh, I'm busy sanding off right now. Um, it should cover up the deeper scratches from some of the sandpaper that I used before. So it looks pretty ugly right now, but it's all for good cause. And uh, yeah, so this float is uh, ready for uh, fairing, as you can see. There's lots and lots of bits that still need to be sanded flat. And then I'll inspect it and probably touch up another round. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, I'm not going for a super mirror finish, showroom shine, all that bullshit. This is primarily a sailing boat. And that's what it's got to do, and as far as I'm concerned, as soon as possible. So I've got three months rent over here in this beautiful big boat shed. You can see, look around, lots of people working on their projects. Or having their boats looked after by the people here, because it's a full service boat yard at the same time. So I was lucky to find a spot here so close to home, within cycling distance. Yeah, so yeah, you can see her on the trailer. And the uh, guy from the boatyard came and pulled her out of, the, out of our backyard. I think it took 15 minutes or something. <laughs> yeah, it was no problem. Here you see the boat sitting ready to get towed away. And this is the result when she's gone. The garden looks, well, devastated. And here we are, behind the car ready to go of course it took a little longer to get her set up here and everything but yeah it's starting to shape up it's nice to be working on the fairing for a change and uh, the fairing compound is a do-it-yourself affair with epoxy and uh, glass bubbles basically or that's what it boils down to and uh, yeah so there it is the long-awaited update or not doesn't matter. Here it is anyway, whether you like it or not. And uh, yeah, I'll let you know when uh, the next stage arrives, that is uh, painting on the primer. Hey, see you then.